everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna make a really simple test to find out which is the best wide angle lens for Osmo Pocket. Recaps. This was free well, easily. This is a boom lens. Next you Lanzi. Whoop. So I have the free wells wide angle lens, which is the most expensive and it's really like favored by many youtubers i have the cheapest ulanzi lens and i have the aboom lens which is i think the price is closer to ulanzi but i saw a little bit of a quality difference so this is now by the way osmo pocket without anything so now i'm gonna start with from i'm gonna go from cheapest to the best to see if we're gonna see any improvements so this is ulanzi let me clean it so i won't have any issues like if there is some sort of a problem on the corners, in the center, whatever. I want to make sure that it's not on me, so I don't need to do this test again. So this is the Yolanzi wide angle lens with Osmo Pocket. Um, I'm just gonna move so that you can see if there's any distortion. These are my, I mean, I can see the distortion, but you let me know in the comments. But what I see from Osmo Pocket's screen is actually pretty obvious. And this is my chicken wings pose. So, yep, I think you got the idea. We tested everything. And here, to magnify the distortion effect, here I am closer to the lens. Next, we're going to go with the Aboom lens. And again, we're back to the regular field of view. Here we have the Aboom lens. Let me clean it so, you know, we don't have any problems. Here it is. I actually checked it, it is clean. Let's start with the zoomed in version to see the distortion. And then I am back. Again, the chicken test, there is a little distortion here too. Oh, ooh. I mean, I have the perfect arms to be a pitcher. <laughs> okay, boom, boom, boom. So here is a complete test. The corner sharpness, this and that is an issue with every lens. So when you are dealing with such cheap lenses, I'm sure it's also an issue. But these are my hands. Okay, next, let's go and test the Freewell's expensive wide angle lens and see if it is worth it. Boom. This lens, by the way, was not easy to find. It's usually out of stock. So this is it. This is the Freewell wide angle lens. Once again, oh, sorry, the chicken test. They call me Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the rumba beat. When the maracas, I go chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom. Okay, corner sharpness. No, I'm not crazy, but I make many videos alone, so I enjoy singing from time to time. And it saves me from the copyright stuff. Okay, and then the closeness for testing the distortion. Are, are you uncomfortable? Are you uncomfortable? So this is what it looks like. Again, when I do the same thing, this is it. And this is me when I'm in the back. And the distance from my arm is like, it's basically the arm's reach I can show you. This is my arm. Thanks to Osmo Pocket and the extension stick, extension rod, I can actually show you. And then I'm putting it right in front of me. From the arm length, you can see that it's, oh, is it distortion? Okay, so free well, let's go do a full recap. This was free well. Boom. Regular Osmo Pocket. This is a boom lens. Look up so that I can put it easily. This is a boom lens. Chicken test real quick. They call me Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the rumba beat. When the maracas I go chick chicky boom chick chicky boom chick chicky boom. Okay, this was a boom. Next, Yulanzi. Whoop. I find the uh, lens test boring, so that's why this is uncut and directly with everything included. So this is it. They call me Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the rumba beat. When the maracas I go chick chicky boom chick chicky boom chick chicky boom. Oh, the distortion is a little bit more visible, but they all look quite decent. Again, free well. Oh, the advantages of free well, obviously, apart from being the most expensive one, you can actually initialize the gimbal with this on free well and DJI collaborated on that one. And that is actually a good thing. And I have a free well ND lens kit, which is here. I paid for it myself. 
uh, for Osmo Pocket and I keep my wide angle in this along with a boom actually now we are in Yulan Z let me switch it and you know what let me switch to the expensive one the freewell one and some people had like jittering issues and when you install it properly it's actually okay but now I'm gonna install it in a crooked fashion oh, no jittering okay okay the the magnets are capturing it like and then it just stays there so it's a pretty decent investment if you have an Osmo Pocket and I have other things but I'm gonna make a lot of videos about Osmo Pocket and how I use it because I started a new channel in another language and that channel was so fast to grow and I think Osmo Pocket has something to do with that so it's a great camera and I'll be putting more videos about it on this channel okay so thanks a lot for watching if you would like to see more videos from me just comment below and if you don't want to see more videos from me still comment below because it helps with the YouTube algorithm so more YouTube algorithm loves me more videos will be out and if you don't like it just help this guy okay Thanks a lot, and I'll put the affiliate links down below. If you're going to buy any of these things, buy it using my link. If you're not going to buy any of these things, but still going to buy something from the sites that I have links to, still click on those links. Give me money. Money. I need money for those lenses. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you in another video. And until then, arrivederci. Okay, so I did not change any of the settings, but while turning off the Osmo Pocket, the gimbal actually hit the lens rather strongly to the body of Osmo Pocket. So I'm wondering if I actually broke this lens. So I think when you're turning it on and off, still pay attention to what's going on, because otherwise there's now sound, something is like moving in it. I don't know if everyone has it or not. <laughs> But anyways, be careful, this is a very, very gentle device and a gentle lens. Okay, bye.